Moving into butterfly pose, feel free to sit on the edge of a blanket to tilt the pelvis. Draw the soles of the feet together, letting the heels slide away so you create a diamond shape with your legs. With your hands resting on your legs, take an inhale to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, slowly relax forward, rounding the spine. Relax your chin towards your chest. Keep a bend in your elbows, relaxing the shoulders. And then go of any urge to push or pull the body. Just let it rest exactly where it wants to be. And use your breath and gravity to slowly come deeper into the pose. Breathing deeply into the hips, into the lower back. And with each exhale, let go and let the body soften. To come out, contract your abdominal muscles. And as you inhale, slowly roll the spine up, drawing your hands up your legs. Head is the last to come up. And roll the shoulders, taking them back and down to open the chest and the lungs. Stretching both legs out, we're going to come into a cow pose, keeping the right leg extended, crossing the left leg over. Eventually the knees will stack, but don't force this. Just listen to your body. You can keep that bottom leg straight, or if you're feeling really open in the knees and the hips, bend both knees. Finding the center of your sitting bones, extending the spine up tall. We're not going to add in the arms today, just focusing on the hips. So you can stay here with a tall spine, letting the sitting bones sink down. If you're feeling like you want to move deeper, you can slowly, on an exhale, let your torso relax forward, rounding the spine, relaxing the neck and the shoulders making sure there's no pain at all in the knees. And connect with your breath. Noticing the sound of your breath. And the rhythm as it moves in and out of your body. To come out, use your palms for support. As you inhale, gently roll your spine up, lifting the head. Take the shoulders back and down. And carefully stretch out the legs. And shake out your knees, loosening up those joints. And drawing both legs together for a forward fold, all ten toes reach to the ceiling. Contract your abdominal muscles and inhale, stretch the arms up, interlock your thumbs. And as you exhale, slowly relax forward. Let your spine round when that feels good for you. Hands rest either onto the legs or either side of the legs. But keep a bend in your elbows. Let the shoulders and the neck relax. If you're feeling any pain behind the knees, feel free to bend them slightly. The breath is really powerful in forward folds. Breathe as deeply as you can, as if you're breathing all the way to the base of your spine. As you exhale, let go, and let the body sink a little bit deeper. To come out, contract your abdominal muscles, interlock your thumbs. As you inhale, hands reach forward and up, stretching to the ceiling. Keep lifting from your chest as you exhale, let the arms lower down. Keep the spine reaching upward. And from here, we'll come into our cow pose on the other side. Left leg stays extended, right leg crosses over. You can stay here or bend both knees if that feels good for your body. Centering yourself on your sitting bones, reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky. And if the body wants to move deeper, on an exhale, slowly relax forward. To whatever depth suits your body, don't push it. Make sure there's no pain in the knees or the hips. 
Letting the body settle in, coming back to the breath. One inhale and one exhale at a time. Using your hands for support as you inhale, gently roll the spine back up, lifting the head, shoulders roll back and down. We'll stretch both legs out, and give them a shake. And from here we'll come onto hands and knees for cat pose, spreading the fingers wide, palms come under the shoulders, knees under hips, tuck the toes under. As you exhale, relax your head down, press your back up, tuck your tummy in and round your spine. As you inhale, head draws up, chest up, tailbone up, looking up, letting the facial muscles relax. Continuing to move through this, the rhythm of your own breath. And taking it nice and slow and controlled, observing the movement of each vertebra. Next time you exhale and round the spine, stay there. Take the palms slightly in front of the shoulders, keep the toes tucked under. Contract your abdominal muscles on an inhale, press up into downward dog. Staying up on the toes, send your tailbone as high as you can. Draw your chest towards your thighs, lengthening the spine. Then on an exhale, slowly relax heels towards the floor, shifting your weight into your heels. Spreading those fingers wide, pressing down through all of the fingers, making sure your middle fingers are pointing straight ahead. Breathing into the backs of the legs. From here we'll come into Pigeon Pose. As you inhale, right knee draws forward to the floor behind that right wrist, left leg stretches back. And that right heel can move further away from the pelvis to deepen this, or be nice and close to the pelvis if that's better for your front knee. Checking that your left leg's in one line with your hip, Start by inhaling, lengthening the spine. You can stay here as you exhale, slowly start to relax forward. Nice and easy, letting the body sink in, making sure there's no pain in that right knee joint, keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed. Hips are big joints in the body. We tend to carry stagnant energy, lots of tension in these joints, so match this with a big breath. Drawing lots of energy in as you inhale, letting tension go as you exhale. to come out using your palms for support as you inhale carefully press the torso back upright planting the palms shoulder width apart spread the fingers wide tuck those left toes under lifting that left knee as you inhale carefully press back to downward dog